In developing countries, unemployment is one of the biggest problems, and creating jobs for millions of people at the same time is very difficult. Fahim Saleh was one of the brilliant minds who have managed to think outside of the box and solve this problem. Many of you may not know how everything was started. In March 2015, Hussein M. Ilyas had completed an MBA in marketing from North South University. On the other hand, Sifat Adnan had completed his bachelor's a degree from Computer and Engineering Department of Rashahi University of Engineering and Technology. Instead of chasing after the golden deer called a job, they decided to do something on their own. That is exactly the story of launching popular ride-sharing app called Patao. At one point, two friends thought of launching two-wheeled motorcycle service, which will easily transport passengers from one place to another. This will be more time efficient, and passengers don't have to pay a lot of money. Kishore Hashmi, after studying in Canada, joined them in Patel Company. The three of them started making apps with the local developers. At first, they launched a smartphone-based motorcycle service in the capital city. Later on, Fahim Saleh, after graduating from Bentley University, joined the team. These young entrepreneurs started everything from scratch and managed to revenue more than 100 US million dollars, which is remarkable for Bangladesh youngsters. They started with three motorcycle with their hard work and creative thinking, they have achieved the success in a really short period of time. With their effort and hard work, foreign investors pitched in and these young entrepreneurs received huge amount of funding. After that, these young people never had to look back again. Fahim Saleh was born in December 12, 1986. His parents were in Bangladesh. His father was a software engineer. Mr. Salahuddin Ahmed worked as an advisor in world-recognized organization called IBM. He used to live with his family in Phuket. After Fahim was born, his family moved to America. Fahim has spent his childhood in puberty in America. After graduating from school and college with flying colors, he graduated in IT from Bentley University in 2009. After graduation, he was looking for jobs in various companies. He got a job from Boston, but he didn't want it to leave New York. That's why even after getting an appointment letter from a reputed company, he took time before joining the deal. And during that period, he created a website called Prank Dial, which got really famous in really short period of time. People from all over the world spent money to access this app. Using help from fellow Nigerian classmates, he later on created 20 more websites. From there, they were earning more than $300,000 every year. By creating the website called Prank Dial, the company's revenue increased overnight. Making this fortune made him continue to work as a developer, rather than working every day in 9-to-5 job. In 2014, by him came to Bangladesh. In that time, he joined the ride-sharing company Patel. In 2015, when no one had any idea about bike sharing, he started his journey with only 100 bikes and currently, now that company is one of the biggest ride-sharing company of Bangladesh. More than 100,000 people are employed in this company. The value of this company is now 4,000 crore taka. It solved one of the biggest obstacles of a developing country, that is unemployment. As the majority of the unemployed youngsters have registered with the ride-sharing company that resulted in motorcycle sale increased by 200%. After some time, Fahim Saleh decided to sell some of his share to other Patel shareholders and return back to New York. He didn't stop there. After returning to New York, he was thinking how to do something similar for other developing countries. That made him start ride-sharing company in Nigeria and Colombia called Gokara. Gokara was one of the most popular ride-sharing app in Nigeria, but after one year, he and his company went through some really tough time as the Nigerian government banned motorcycle ride sharing. Before that, he managed to earn $5.3 million in one year. After getting banned, Mr. Fahim changed his business plan. Gokara driver started personal delivery service. Fahim Saleh had a dream to take the ride sharing app into a different level and he has done it by joining the ride sharing with e-commerce. Fahim was in love with New York. He used to live 100 miles away from the New York City. For developing his apps, he bought a flat in New York with $2.2 million of his own money. Friend used to call him Elon Musk of a developing country. Complex estimation of his net worth is 
above $150 million on July 14, 2020. Fahim Saleh's body was found beheaded and divided into pieces in his luxury apartment in Manhattan. Police have said he was being killed 24 hours earlier than that. Earlier that night, when his neighbors heard yelling from Saleh's unit, they informed his sister. After numerous failure contacting attempts, Saleh's sister visited his condo on 14 July and saw a horrible scene and called police immediately. An electric saw was found in his apartment. Saleh's head and lips were found in a garbage bag. Postmortem report from the chief medical examiner shows Saleh was killed brutally with multiple stabs. This case was classified as a manslaughter. A police source told New York Times, Mr. Fahim was followed by a man dressed in black. Police suspect that the killer fled from the scene through the back door after Saleh's sister arrived looking for him. On July 17, Saleh's personal assistant, 21-year-old Tyrese Haspil, was arrested and charged with murder. Since Haspil has been the prime suspect of the murder, however, Haspil was plead not guilty. Police says the reason behind the execution is money. Police says Haspil has stolen thousands of dollars from Mr. Fahim and when Mr. Fahim came to know about this, Haspil killed him. The case is still under judgment. When new information arrives, I'll be definitely making a video about it. That's that's it for today guys. If you like the video please subscribe and give a thumbs up and thanks for watching the video.